we get to this third density, this human density. Now, this is very highly sought after, obviously, because you become self-aware. You become aware that you're aware. You become aware that you have choice, that you have will. That when you're exposed to the choice of do I serve myself or do I serve other people, which we'll talk about as STS, service to self, versus STO, service to others, you have will, you have choice, you have polarity, right? So self-awareness and polarity. This is typically what's also called the third density or 3D matrix. So when people talk about the matrix, they're referencing something, of course, that's also used in mathematics, but they're talking about it in a sense of the government in terms of the economic machinery, in terms of politicians, in terms of propaganda, in terms of all of the main media companies, in terms of all of the fast food and high fructose corn syrup, and all of the endarkenment and asleepening mechanisms that keep people like algorithmic sheep. rather than liberated, sovereign, Gnostic beings that know their true infinite nature. And that's really what is core here when you go from the third to the fourth density is it's typically the, what is called in many ways the first stage of enlightenment, which is when you recognize that I am not a contracted, finite, separate energy, egoic. I'm not that. And you sort of relax and expand yourself into a more cosmic consciousness. You begin recognizing a little bit more subtly that, okay, well, we all come from the same source. We all come from that same Big Bang. And our awareness then is also shared like our sources. And I become more subtly aware of awareness itself. And I recognize that the observer, the witness, is paramount. It's salient. It's critical. Just like I reference in my dream at night that I have, I can't actually simulate out that dream and have that experience without an observer without a witness without awareness so there is awareness simulated and the reality for awareness to experience so look at your direct experience at night when you simulate out the dreams and recognize the poignancy the paramountness of the observer of the witness of awareness itself and then take that here away from that dream into your awake state and recognize that same paramountness okay so you are the creator and you are the awareness and you are the unique firework that is your unique gift and expression that's why the first part is called neti neti not this not that you negate being this costume you negate being even awareness so that you can recognize yourself as the creator you can recognize pierce the veilless veil the gateless gate 
to that as your true nature. And then step one is that neti neti. Step two is the inclusion. So in step two, you include yourself as the creator, as the impersonal, eternal awareness, and as the unique, cool, firework, gift, costume. So the ascension from third to fourth includes that moving away from person into moving more and more towards the cosmic consciousness. And it is really critical here. You move away from service to self dynamics where you want to self deal to yourself, you're trying to extract peace and happiness from Maya, from the illusion, from substances and experiences and other people. Two, now you recognize that your nature is happiness and peace. Awareness is nature is that the creator's nature is that so you no longer try and extract it from Maya rather you become in service because you recognize the quote other is actually the self is the creator. So that way you become in service to others or STO instead of STS. So that's really the core of where we're at right now. So cosmically speaking, we are. So again, this was do, re, mi. We're in the mi to fa. And in that mi to fa, we have to remember that there's a polarity there. There's no sharp. And so the polarity is the service to self versus the service to other. And so the th quote 3.5 is where a lot of people are currently feeling right now. Our role as people that care a lot about service to others, that care a lot about love, awakening to the fourth density of love, which again these are the chakras as well, that this fourth chakra is the heart chakra. And when you open the heart chakra, that's when you get love, you get cosmic consciousness, you get the recognition that we share our being, which is what the definition of love is. So this is so mission critical. When we talk about things like global enlightenment, or when we talk about the planetary awakening, we're talking about shifting people from human, third density, service to self, to fourth density, love, service to others. Expanding them from person to more of a shepherding of consciousness. 